thanks so much for joining us. We're really excited to welcome you to our first ever live casting demonstration. So we're going to take you through all the steps today on how to make a hand casting and we get loads of questions about hand casting and using our kits like is it really that easy and how long does it take and is it safe? And today we're going to show you how safe it is and the fact that it really is that easy. We're doing it in real time so you're going to see exactly how long it takes. So it's that easy if you follow the instructions. Okay, so first of all you need to make sure you're prepared before you start. I've got my uh, white clean surface here. We don't want to make a mess. You could put newspaper down or you could just use a nice um, white clean tablecloth like we've got here. You need to make sure you've opened your bags of alginate. This is our special recipe casting powder. Um, we want to move quite quickly when we're mixing this up. So these are already cut open and ready to go. I've measured out my water here. And I'm pouring that straight into the bucket before I start. It's really hot here, so I'm using cold water. I'm sure it's really hot there as well. So the temperature affects how long it takes this magic alginate. To set so using cold water is going to buy us more time on a hot day you really do need one of these it's an electric whisk if you haven't got one beg borrow or steal one um, if you use a hand whisk it's really hard work and you've only got a minute or so to whisk in so you need a timer as well and I've got a nice bright egg timer you might have um, a watch or you could use your phone and the other thing is you can't do this on your own you'll get your hands stuck in it so you need some helping hands so welcome if you're first just joining us for our first ever hand casting demonstration. We're just about to show you the first stage of this hand casting, which is creating the mould. Now, before we start mixing, we're going to practice our handhold position. We're often asked what's the best position for a handhold. How should we hold hands? But that's a whole other demonstration. We're going to cover that next time. This time round, we're going to do a simple handhold and we're going to dunk it into the bucket as a practice. So where's the other hand? Okay, nice simple position like that and we're going to put it into the bucket of water so down we go a few things to remember here make sure you don't touch the bottom or the sides of the bucket you've got to keep really still don't let them drift or flow upwards and make sure you're standing directly above the bucket so your arms stay straight this will make sure your finished cast stands upright Okay, out and dry. Might well, have a little towel handy. Now, we're going to put a little bit of baby oil on our hands. We're going to help them slip out of this mould more easily, especially if you've got hairy hands or arms. Just a tiny bit. And another time we're going to talk you through how to cast with jewellery on. I know that you love our cast with the rings on, but this time, as it's our first ever demonstration, we're going to keep it simple, just concentrating on hands. And now we're ready to go. Okay, so time is of the essence here. Here's my alginate. I'm going to put one bag in first and mix it in a bit just to get it under the surface. And then I'm going to put the rest of it in and I'm going to whisk it for a full minute. The important thing is not to panic. You've got time. So here we go. First bag in. Give it a little whisk, timer over, a bit more, next bag in, half, a bit more speed. Don't panic. is up, take that out, hands in, let's move nice and quickly, get that position, 
and down we go, right down to the bottom, touch the bottom, back up, and we're going to hold it there. If you're just tuning in, you might wonder what we're doing. Well, we've just mixed our alginate in the bucket and we're casting our hands. So there are key points to remember here, stand straight, keep still, don't touch the bottom or the sides of the bucket. We just need to wait now until this liquid has turned solid. And we're going to see it change from pink to white. It's going to feel really firm and rubbery when, you take, when you're ready to take your hands out, but you won't be trapped in there. It's firm, but it's still malleable and you can, you've got a bit of flexibility in there. You can get your hands out fine. So we've been sent a few questions. So why should I do one bag of alginate at a time? Well, you saw it puffs up like icing sugar. It can get really messy, really lumpy. So you do it on a gradually slow speed and then get speeded up when you've got it all in under the surface of the water. You want to know why the temperature matters? Well, this alginate, which is made from seaweed, it sets more quickly when it's warm and it's so hot today. So we've bought ourselves some more time by using cold water. If it was a cold day, you could use slightly warmer water. You could go up to about 21 degrees. And if you're doing a baby, they don't like cold water. It makes them scrunch their little hands and their feet up. So you want to use water that's at body temperature. So best not to do a baby on a really hot day. Starting to go a little bit pale now. It's safe on your hands um, and it's safe on baby's hands. It's made from um, a natural seaweed and it's actually compostable as well. We've tested this really carefully. We don't want to put people putting their hands in something that is going to cause them any problems at all. But if you want to just check, you can do a little spot test with a tiny bit on your skin or baby's skin before you do a full casting. We've never heard of anybody having a reaction to it, but better safe than sorry. See it's starting to go a little bit white now. If you're wondering what alginate is, dentists use this. They use it to take moles of your teeth. So if it's okay to go in your mouth, it's be okay to put your hands in. I'm making sure we're not moving at all. We made a bit of a mess, we've got a little bit of tidying up to do afterwards, but we've put our white clean sheet down. It's almost impossible to do it without making a little bit of a mess. Okay. And as you can see, that's no longer a pink liquid. That's firmed up nicely into this casting jelly. I think we're ready to go. What do you think, Hand? Ready to go. Okay, so now we need to loosen uh, the alginate from around our hands and get our hands out. So we're going to wriggle our fingers inside. You might feel at first as if you're a little bit stuck, but if you wriggle those fingers really gently and then loosen around the wrist like this, you'll start to feel you've got some movement in there. Okay. So I'm going to go first. So I'm going to slowly remove my hand by lifting it gradually out of the mould. I'm wiggling my fingers gently as I go. And three. And now the second hand. Make sure you don't scratch it with your nails as you pull your hand out. You don't want to damage this mould. There we go. We're all out. And that is our mould. I don't know if you can see inside there. Little bits of finger detail inside there. Right. The next stage is... Um, filling this with plaster but first of all I want to check there are no loose pieces of alginate inside so I'm just going to swill a little bit of water in here which will just bring out any little loose pieces that might potentially affect the finished piece and then we're going to pour that out and make sure you get that all out you don't want to leave any water in there 